Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today we are doing pebbles from the Flintstones. I'm totally dating myself, but it's so stinking cute and I've been wanting to do this. So um, I like this file a lot for a couple of reasons. One, I like this image because I knew her face was gonna be the biggest part right here. And I figured if we could do her face at 11 inches, then her body's another 11 inches, and then her legs and her hair, we can easily do this at 30 inches. And that's kind of the mindset that I want you guys to have when you're looking at, an, at a file, is breaking it down by color, by section, to see how big can you make this image. And I did think that we can make this at 30 inches easily. And it turns out, I, I did take a peek at this. We can do this. Everything will be seamless, except for, of course, the big 30 inch background. So this will be 30 inches. Um, I want you to just kind of scroll down over here just to see what you have. The first thing that I did notice is um, the eyelashes because they're so cute, <laughs> but it's separated. So it means that in this case, and I'm gonna ungroup it. I want to see, I believe the eyes are just sitting on top of the face. And let's see if that's true. Okay, they are. So it's the face is, does not have any cutouts. The eyes will be on top. So what's nice about that is um, because the black is separated, you could do black glitter cardstock and then do just regular black cardstock for the outline. So then your black's gonna pop out a little bit. So all these spots on her shirts, on her shirt will um, be really cute. So, okay, let's scroll down and see if we have our black background, and we do, it's right here. Um, now, if you didn't have the black background, I just wanna show you how you would do it. You would grab the whole image, and you would duplicate, and then once it duplicates, we're going to weld it. Um, wow, it's really slow today, okay. It looks like it's coming. All right. And then we want to weld this one. So you'll have just, you'll, you're melding all of it together. So here it is. That's how you would get your background if you didn't have one. So I'm going to delete this for now. Now, the other new step that I've added is I do want to duplicate this. Now on this one, I don't think it's really gonna be an issue for us, but I wanna duplicate it and then I wanna flatten it. And that way we always have this image, a full image of what she looks like. So when we're slicing things, we know where we're slicing it. So um, let's flatten it and I'll show you what I mean. So, so this is, when you flatten, you're basically telling Design Space, go ahead and do a cut and print. Now, the reason why I'm doing, we're not actually going to cut or print this, or it should be print and then cut, but um, we're not doing that. But I like it because I can see the full image because once we start ungrouping and moving things off, it's hard to remember, okay, well, what did the image look like? Um, but you want to flatten it because you want it one piece. You don't want to confuse, is it this black dot on the on the fake one or the one we're working on. So it gets kind of confusing with so many parts and that's why I want you to flatten it, just so that we have this image over here. Ignore that for now. Okay, so let's start ungrouping this and just looking at what we have. Um, so we have the hair and I like, you know, I like it when it's completely ungrouped because then we don't have to spend the time of removing the, you know, her hair, spacing it apart. Um, I'm, I know, <laughs> you know, when you're slicing it because this can take up a lot of space. But I don't wanna take off, I wanna deal with her face and her eyes and the eyebrows. And the reason is because if we don't slice this out of the face, um, you're going to have to put it down the eyes onto the face and try to figure out where it should go. And um, make sure that they're both even. So I find that that's gonna be kind of hard. So what I wanna do is I wanna grab her eyebrow and grab her face and slice. We're gonna slice out each one of these items so that your face, you don't have to worry about uh, lining it up. You, This little eyebrow will fit right into the, um, into the slit. 
Um, so let's grab the face and where and let's do one eye at a time. So we're scrolling down over here. Um, here. So hit the shift key, grab this eye and slice. So there we have that. And you can delete this. We don't need that, right? Okay, so let's grab the face and do the other eye. So scroll down. Um, there's her eye. And let's slice that. Okay. So, so far we've sliced out the two eyes we're missing an eyebrow so here I think this is no that's that eyebrow okay um, let's grab the face we want to also slice out the nose so let's look at that um, what shape is that oh that's her belly button um, no we don't want to okay so let's grab her face and scroll down to see if we can find oh here here's her nose and let's slice that out <laughs> she looks like a sad baby right there it's too funny okay grab her face and let's see if we can find the other eyebrow and we're also looking for the mouth um, so let's see, here's the mouth, and slice, right, and we don't need that. Okay, so we're only missing the eyebrow, so let's grab this and let's scroll down to see if we can find the other eyebrow. Oh, I think this is it. Is that it? Slice, I don't think that's it. Oh, it is it, okay, perfect. Okay, so we can get rid of that slice results. So again, we're still keeping, um, if you can see, we're still keeping all these pieces. They're gonna sit on top, so that, but we sliced it out of the face so that we didn't have to try to figure out where the eye goes, is it even, um, and so now we sliced it out of the face, so it'll just go into the, into the opening so i think we're almost done here so let's see what do we have over here so let's move that image out of the way um this is the eyebrow so we'll move it over here i did notice some really thin black cuts right here and let me make this bigger so you can see um scroll over so all these little black cuts I'm going to delete it. I don't think we need it at all. And I'm not even sure why they're in the file to begin with, but um, you can just grab them and delete it. And I did notice them on the panel over here. So you can do that and delete. Let's see. So that's the headband. Okay, let's zoom out for a second okay what is this we can delete that so let's scroll from the top and see what we have so we have the face the eyebrow the mouth the nose the eyes eyebrow okay these are the dots on her um shirts shirt i don't know why i'm <laughs> seeing plural all right let's delete that what is this thing? Let's delete that. Okay, we have, that's the shirt, her arm, um, the bone. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. We can delete this as well as this. And I think this, all right. Let's see what else we have. What is this? We can delete that. Um, other than these little random black marks, um, I like this file a lot, actually. Just because it's already separated, um, I, yeah, I like that. Um, so let's see, what is, 
Okay, we don't need that. I think we're almost done. Okay. Oops. Okay. And hopefully by now you guys have written this down. The file is from Jess Vector SVG Shop. So I'm going to delete that now. Um, okay, so we have all the pieces. I think really the only thing we need to slice up is this. Um, now this is where this comes in. So here's her flattened image. What I like to do is I like to put it right over each other. So I'm going to grab these two items and I'm going to go to arrange, or I'm sorry, align and center. So now they're sitting right on top of each other the way they should. And I'm going to group it together so that they move as one. Okay. Then let's go to shapes. And let's bring in our square because this is what we're going to slice up, okay? So let's make this 11 inches. So we know that this is 15 inches by 30. So we're going to need two rows, two columns, <laughs> because 11 and 11 is 22, right? So we need that for 15. And then for 30 inches, we're going to need three rows. So we need six squares total, okay? Um, so place the first one kind of just anywhere on top of the figure and go to position. Your position is your X coordinate and your Y coordinate. So X is the one running across and Y is the one running up and down. So round these numbers to the nearest whole number. So 16.6 .6 something becomes 16, 35 here. So basically what we're saying is go over 16 units go down 35 and here's the tip of our square we're going to duplicate the square and now we're going to make this one flushed with the first one so put it really close and if you put it really close you don't even have to do any math you just round to the nearest whole number so 27.389 becomes 27 and 35 was already perfect okay so now hit the shift key because this one's already highlighted that's the selected piece we have Hit the shift key and grab this one. Now we have two squares that are perfectly flush with each other. You're gonna duplicate it. So now we only have to make this set flushed with the one above. So again, if you put it close enough, then we're gonna go to position 16 is already good. 46.22 becomes 46. And now let's duplicate again and put it down here and then go to here to round to the nearest whole number, right? So 57 point something becomes 57. And now you have six perfectly flush squares. And you want that because you don't want any gaps, right? And then you also want them completely flush. So there's no overlays or any gaps. Now what you're gonna do is we're gonna go get our, um, our little flattened piece, right? And um, why isn't it letting me, hmm. let me click it again. Let me click the group. Okay. Go to arrange and send to the front. We just want to see, I'm going to zoom in. We want to see where we're slicing this, this little girl up. Okay. So you just want to make sure that, um, so this is going down. That should be okay. It's cutting across here. So you're going to have a slit here, a, a seam here, here. It's running through her hair. I don't really know if there's much that we could do. I guess we can move her down a little bit. Now, this slit right here is going through her pants, but her pants is part of the background. So we're going to see this seam. So I'm almost wondering if we should move her over so that the seam won't be going down like the middle of you know, her crotch, um, but also just not in this big open area. Maybe this is not a bad area. This seam right here will be covered by the foot, a little bit by her shirt and her arm. That's not a bad place. It's also like, oh, we got to move it over a little bit. It's also a little bit off centered. So you're not, your eyes aren't going to be drawn to the, her side. Your eyes are going to be drawn to her face and probably her hair. And actually this is pretty good because this seam is running up here and her face is gonna be covering that. And then this is right here. Actually, I like I like where this is cutting. Um, and this is cutting straight down here. 
All right, so not bad, right? So it's really helpful to, to have this flattened image to see what is actually being covered. So I'm gonna zoom back out and now we can ungroup it. And you can go to your flattened piece and delete that. We don't need that anymore. We're just slicing this, okay? So now when we're slicing, we're slicing two items at one time. We're slicing the image and one square at a time, okay? So grab the square and the image and slice. So instead of a 30 inch by 15 inch piece that we couldn't cut on the Cricut, we now can cut this, right? This is 8.2 by 8.58. Let's grab this side. And oops, I grabbed too much. Let's continue going this way. Slice. So here's her head. Slice. And I also like to move it over and keep it in order so that later when I'm doing this, I don't have to try to figure out which piece goes where and do I have it right side up. Um, the slice results you can just get rid of. And then let's slice out this so here's this piece slice out this and that should get us everything that was pretty easy right so she's gonna look pretty amazing all right let's grab all this and delete it we don't need that all right so i think we have everything let's go to save it and then I'm gonna bring you to the Make It page just so that you can see what it looks like. Okay, so let me move my face. <laughs> so here's the white. Let's see, here's the black. Now, oh, right, let's cancel. Cause these little black pieces, I, I think for when I'm making it, I want all these black pieces over here to actually be glitter cardstock. So I'm gonna change the color of it so I'm gonna change this for instance to a gray so that when I go to cut all my gray pieces, I know I'm gonna use black glitter cardstock. So let's go to color sync over here and let's move all the pieces that we want gray. So these are all the spots on her shirt, right? Um, do I want her mouth? I probably don't want her mouth to be gray. Uh, or black glitter cardstock. I probably want just regular glitter cardstock. I want her eyes to be really cute and um, maybe her eyebrows. I'm open to the eyebrows, but her nose should be fine. This little piece right here was for her hair, so let's do that. Um, oh, and her two spots on her shirt. So what we left was her nose um, or maybe this was the piece of her hair because this is her nose, this is her mouth, and then her body. All right, so let's go to, let's save it and then make it. Okay, so here's the white, here's the black glitter cardstock, and you can still move these things around. And that's nice because the next time you use this, you'll have a lot of leftover cardstock. Um, okay, so here's, that's all looking good. This is looking good. Um, I feel like we can move this. So click on the three dots, move object. I think it can fit over here. So let's do that, confirm. So let's move this guy over. Let me move my face. Okay, so this can go up higher. So I think, oh man, I wish we could move this guy over, but he's got the hands. I'm a little bit worried about where he can fit. Um, you know what? I'm going to try this. Let's click on this, move object. going to move it to this one. I'm going to rearrange that a little bit. Let's see if we can do this. So let's move this guy down here, and we're going to flip him this way and move them all the way to the bottom. And then let's move this guy over. Oh my gosh, it's so close. Look at it, it cuts in right there. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so close. I wonder if I can move. Ah, we did it. Okay, so it all fits, it's like, 
one big puzzle. Okay, so we saved a sheet of black. Oops, sorry. Here's our, I think her tongue and then her hair. Now her hair, we can probably move these pieces over, right? So click on the three dots, move object. I think we can make it all fit in here, I hope. Um, oh, it's so close. Okay, so that fits. Let's see if we can get this little guy over. And I think we got it. Okay, let's turn this. Okay, yay! So one uh, glittery piece of orange. And then let's see, her face. So I think her face, we can probably move some of these pieces up. Now the other trick is you can go up here and click on this and change it to 12 by 24. Even if you have no intentions of using a 12 by 24 mat, um, you know, it's easier to move it like this than clicking on it um, and moving each item. But I do love my 12 by 24 mat. So um, even though I don't have 12 by 24 cardstock, what I would do is split this up and put two sheets of cardstock. Just make sure you don't hit the 12 because that's where your new sheet of cardstock is going to be, right? So I don't think I can fit. No, yeah, I don't think I can fit everything on there. But this makes it a little bit faster, right? So now I'm going to put use a 12 by 24 mat and I'm going to have a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock up here and then another 12 by 12 down here. And that's it. And then here's her yellow. I would move this up here. And that's it. All right. So I'm going to make this. I'm actually going to cut it and then I will um, assemble it and put that on a different video. All right. Thanks, guys. Let me know if you have any comments, questions, if you have a project that you want to work on. Um, just post a comment either on YouTube, Instagram, or Facebook, or just send me a message, Anne at theuselesscrafter.com. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.